Can you really lose weight if you still eat whatever you want? That's how I lost 80 pounds. So from the time I was about six years old when I was put on my first diet until about the age of 30, I struggled with my weight. The way I remember it, I was given a list when I was just a little kid of, of the things that you know were supposed to be good for me to eat and then the list of things that were bad for me to eat. And I remember thinking when I was looking at that list, like I hate all of these foods <laughs> that are on the good list and I love all these things that I'm not supposed to eat. There were some times that I was at a good healthy weight, but most of the time I was kind of on the chubby side. And I always thought my problem was I liked cake. You know, I, I liked pizza. I didn't want to have to live without that stuff. And so that kind of thinking set up this cycle where I would go on a diet and I would, you know, restrict certain foods. And yes, I would get down to my goal weight most of the time. And what would happen though, is after I was at my goal weight, I was like, okay, time to start eating those foods I love. And then I would start regaining the weight, which then only kind of solidified in my mind. Oh, the problem is I'm eating the wrong foods. I just like the wrong kind of food and therefore that's why I'm gonna be overweight. So by the time I was approaching 30 years old, I was just miserable when it came to food because I was obese and I also had this never ending battle in my head. I would sit down, you know, trying to enjoy the food and no matter really what the food was, there was this battle in my head about, is this a good food or is it a bad food? And, you know, I love this food, but you know, I should feel guilty because I'm obese and I shouldn't be eating this food. And the more this battle raged on in my head, the more resentful I became because I would look around at everyone around me who didn't have a weight problem, who seemed to not even think about these things. There were people who actually just ate donuts and didn't feel guilty about it. And so I decided I was going to try that approach for once, that I was really just going to allow myself to eat whatever I wanted to eat. It didn't matter what it was. It didn't matter if it was really high carb. It didn't matter if it was really high fat. I could just allow myself to have all the foods I wanted. And that changed everything. Suddenly the food that had always been, you know, off limits or, you know, kind of forbidden was now just available to me. And instead of me just going crazy over that stuff, I found that it just didn't have the same power over me that it used to have. I found stopping power for the first time in my life. That meant that I actually stopped when I was full, when my body had had enough. I was suddenly able to eat the right amount of food so that I was in a deficit so that my body could lose weight. And that's the thing. It really does not matter what you eat. What really matters is how many calories you're consuming. It doesn't matter if you consume 1500 calories from a big old pile of sugar or from a big old pile of lettuce or from a big old steak. If your body is burning more than 1500 calories a day, you're going to lose weight. It really doesn't matter what you love to eat. Even if all you want to eat in your life is just fast food, you can still lose weight. John Cisna lost weight on the McDonald's diet. Mark Hobb lost weight on the Twinkie diet. And people have even lost weight eating Ben and Jerry's ice cream every day. So if you keep running up on this problem where you've tried restricting foods and maybe it works in the short term, but you can never do it for the long term, try the opposite method, which is to just let yourself eat whatever you want. You might just find that when you get rid of that restrictive mindset, you end up having self-control. The main thing to remember when you're doing this is that you have to really mean it. You can't tell yourself that you're allowed to have whatever you want when really what you mean is, you know, maybe you should take it easy on certain foods and things like that. That's still a restrictive kind of mindset. And that can really backfire because if you, you know, tell yourself, oh, you can have whatever you want. And then you go and have, you know, a couple of pieces of chocolate cake, and then you put yourself on a huge guilt trip, you're probably going to go back into that cycle of feeling guilty and then overeating on those foods. So instead really mean it, just let yourself have whatever you want. And what you might find, and this is what I found, and it seems totally counterintuitive, but once I allowed myself to have whatever I wanted, you know, however much I wanted of those things, I found that I didn't have those cravings that I used to have. And I also found that some things that I used to think were just so fantastic, like Chips Ahoy cookies, I just didn't care about them anymore. Now, don't get me wrong. That doesn't mean that I like totally switched. I don't like cookies and cakes and things like that because I certainly do. But I did find the power to just eat the right amount. And the great thing has been that not only was I able to lose weight while continuing to eat whatever I wanted, but maintenance has been so easy because 
it's not like I, you know, got down to my goal weight and then I had to try to learn how to eat cake again. I was eating cake the entire time. And the big difference I've seen when I compare this time to all the other times that I tried to lose weight is that whenever I've lost weight in the past, the weight just starts coming back on like immediately. But at this point, I've been in a healthy BMI range for over six years now. So if you have struggled with this, you know, feeling guilty for eating certain kinds of foods, or, you know, if you think that, oh, well, I like cake, therefore I must be overweight. I'm just here to tell you, it's not true. You can totally lose weight and keep it off for good, even when you eat all the foods that you love. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Chances are, since you just watched that video, you're on the weight loss journey yourself. And I just wanted to let you know that I do have some more resources available to you. First of all, I have lots of freebies on my website, sixmilessupper.com slash freebies. On that page, you can find lots of downloads and printables that will help you on the weight loss journey. And I've written three different books to help you through the process. Also, I have a course on Teachable, Intermittent Fasting for Weight Loss 101. And this takes you through the entire process of weight loss with intermittent fasting from how to get started and then how to build your plan and customize it to your own life. And finally, how to keep it off for the rest of your life. And I also offer weekly office hours so that you can get your questions answered directly by me. Also, there's the option to join this channel. When you become an insider, you get access to the vlog I do. I also hold an additional live Q&A just for members. The links to all these things are in the description.